G'day all, Sam from Halls Engineering again, showing you the tight as wire strainer. A lot of people have been asking me if our strainer will work on barbed wire. What we've got in this fence line here is a relatively new barbed wire that was put in, and we've got a crappy old one. Both of them are gone doughy, so what we'll do is we'll do the knot with the newer one first, and then we'll go and do the second one. So what we do, same as before, we open the strainer up on the barb and again pull it tight. On. So the knot's exactly the same as last time. Just wrap that pack of wire onto there. Just grab the barbed wire, and wrap it up. And like I said last time, a lot of people are starting to use like a, a screwdriver or whatnot to tighten this wire, not their pliers. Uh, they just sort of say it's a lot easier. Drop our cam. And there's our barb, nice and tight. So now we're going to go onto this older barb, and you can see it's it, it, well, it looks of it, it's only medium tensile, um, the old Iowa stuff. But uh, lock him on. Old wire is always a bit more of a challenge. That's one, two. Straight away you can see I've pulled that up. Yeah, we don't want to put as much pressure on it. So what I've got, I've got one pack of wire here. What I like to do on real old wire like this is put a second pack of wire through. Now what that does, it makes this diameter here where the wire wraps up a bit bigger. And for this pack of wire, I'm only using uh, 2.5 medium tensile wire. So there it is, and we just simply wrap it up like normal. Now the beautiful thing about doing this is you don't put excess pressure on the wire, and we're not cutting the wire, which is with this wire here is about the best you can go. It's nice and tight. I haven't had to cut it by for it. There she is. Thanks for watching again.